Finding Nemo. Michigan car salesman snookers his own dealer and car manufacturer for the tune of $8.7 million. Hello, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth. You've arrived at the home of super high-intensity training for car buyers, so count this as your lucky day. Well, Elizabeth, today, we have always been talking about the dishonest things that salesmen and car dealers will do, but this story really takes the cake because (laughs) this was like stealing from the hand that feeds you. Exactly. This story demonstrates that salesmen are pretty creative when it comes to finding ways to pull some underhanded shenanigans. (laughs) They'll even steal from the hand that feeds them. All the time. So in this case, the manufacturer turned a blind eye to what they must have known was a problem with a salesman at one of their own dealerships. This story is about both comedy and irony of the car business itself. Ronan Glenn reported that federal authorities have charged a 34-year-old salesman named Paula Nemo with wire fraud, saying he masterminded an employee pricing scheme that cost... Fiat Chrysler automobiles, $8.7 million. (laughs) Nice. He used a private Facebook group and operated undetected for several years, authorities said, giving thousands of new car buyers unbeatable deals while receiving hundreds of thousands of dollars in bonuses. You guys should have loved it, but you know what? They found Nemo. Yes. (laughs) The report goes on to say that Nemo gave employee discounts on car purchases for years, according to court documents. He got away with this for a decade. Well, How did this go unnoticed until 2021? Mr. Nemo closed more sales with employee discounts than any other FCA salesperson in the United States, according to Automotive News. Yeah, no red flags there. No red flags. (laughs) Prosecutors believe his customers received a 5% discount by falsely claiming they were brother-in-law or sister-in-law of an FCA employee. Nemo is just a really good name for him because he has this huge family like a fish, you know, like a school of fish. (laughs) So you know how he pulled it off. He sold employee purchase control numbers on private Facebook groups. Yes, Facebook was how they got the information. Thanks, Facebook. You know how often we tell people to beware of cars sold on Facebook Marketplace? Right. Well, Facebook does a lousy job of weeding out the con artists. And maybe it's just because we know better, but the scammers out there stand out like a sore thumb on Facebook. So take a second, Kevin, and tell our viewers what they can learn about these car scams. Prices are way too low, first of all, when they show up on Facebook. They are often claiming they posted it for somebody else and you need to email that person. So it takes you outside the the Facebook community. Always a red flag. There's very low mileage on these cars typically. Usually just one picture. Like they took a picture of some random guy's car sitting in the (laughs) Corsap's driveway. The posting is generally so vague it's ridiculous and there's always weird conditions attached. It's always just too good to be true. And, well, you know what they say about things that are too good to be true? They're not true. They're not true. Well, I wonder what's going to happen to Mr. Nemo and his little Facebook scam of selling employee discounts with these employee codes. Well, here's what the scope of what he did. Nemo began giving employee discounts on car purchases, and everybody was getting a 5% discount by falsely claiming these relatives. Now Nemo made that possible by selling them an employee code from his private Facebook group, and the buyer knew that they were in on the swindle. Of course. And Nemo had accomplished this by stealing the code numbers from Fiat Chrysler itself. FCA doesn't do a good job of checking on this, so he got away with it. And one of his favorite customers was Nemo's father, Salim. Well, are you sure his name's not Marlon? No, it's definitely (laughs) Salim. He leased three different cars in 2014 through his son, Nemo, who's working at Parkway, Chrysler Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Clinton Town. Hey, you know something? I've been to this dealership in Clinton Uh, Township. In Michigan? No, I didn't get a Nemo discount, but I was at uh, that dealership. And I didn't buy a car there either, but I've just been there. Well, he received a discount by- You're talking about Salim got a discount? Yeah. Awesome. Salim got a discount on each vehicle by claiming he was the brother-in-law of three different FCA employees. It's so cool that so many Chrysler employees married his sisters. <laughs> yeah. So FCA, which is Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, if you missed that, puts its trust in its dealers and their salesmen to do the right thing with Ooh. employee discounts. <laughs> Even when gigantic red flags are popping up, like unheard of record setting sales, thousands of connections to supposed family members, all that, and they still ignored it. Just let that set in for a moment. Somebody trusts car dealers and salesmen to do the right thing. Well, surprise, 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 (laughs) FCA did not verify whether the family connections were true or not. Well, prosecutors think it was a win-win for the people who got discounts. Of course. Buyers were able to purchase a cheaper car. They slid a few bucks to Nemo for the code they got. And then Nemo unlocked big bonuses for being a top seller at his dealership. 
FCA awarded him $700,000 between 2010 and 2019. Nice bonus, Nemo. Right. And he sold 250 cars in January 2020 alone, which Automotive News notes is more than the entire sales staff at the average FCA store. There are two noteworthy points here. Well, first of all, the huge record sales month, that doesn't alarm Chrysler. And the second point being that they paid Nemo $700,000 in bonuses from 2010 to 2019. Now, how much in bonuses do you think they paid the dealership itself? Uh, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> in the millions of dollars. Yeah. Hmm, any guesses? Yeah, that's a huge ton of money. When dealers assert that they are making no money on these new cars, they never say a peep about what's coming in the back door at the end of the month, end of the year. 700,000 went to just the salesmen, folks. That ought to be a serious wake up call for all of you if you thought car dealers really weren't making any money right. on these new cars. Well, the big surprise here is that these supersized bonuses and world-class jaw-dropping sales <laughs> figures weren't what rang the alarm bell. Law enforcement officials put a target on Nemo after FCA employees noticed someone was applying their personal discount codes to purchases without their authorization. It was employees affiliated with the manufacturer that caught on to this. Perhaps a little report from their employer saying, congratulations, the 89th <laughs> member of your family just bought another car. Well, following the paper trail led them to Nemo. Yeah, so it wasn't Chrysler who catches on, it's the employees who catch on and they turned them on to the feds. So federal agents arrested Nemo on April 30th. He posted a bond. So just keep I swimming, <laughs> just keep swimming, sell those cars. Uh, there's a preliminary hearing set for May 21st. Word has it that he's fresh out of employee discount codes oh. for car buyers. Thanks, Soul Facebook, for being an unwitting partner of sorts for Nemo, helping him pull off this little adventure and gig for the past decade. Nemo's going to need a lot of lucky sea turtles, though, to ride the next wave <laughs> of his adventure. So what do you think? Do our viewers want us to come back and give them an update on what happens when Nemo goes to court? Well, you guys tell us. If you'd like a continuation of this saga after Nemo swims the trough, otherwise known as the Michigan court system, well, let us know in the comment section down below. And you know what I'd really like to know is if somebody out there got an employee discount from Nemo. That would be awesome. Facebook. Yeah, let us know. All right. You know, I really feel sorry for Fiat Chrysler after all of this. Really? No. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think so. If you appreciated the video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up down below and share this video with your family and friends. They deserve to get just as lucky as you did finding the amazing homework guy channel, don't you think? Obviously. Make sure they also comment below, include hashtag the homework guy if you have a question that you'd like us to see. If you love what we do and want to leave a tip, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see appearing on the screen here will be easy to find in that description box down below or on our website. But don't worry about it, tip. Thanks everyone for coming back. We're gonna see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter with the amazing Elizabeth. We, we gotta, gotta go. go. Just keep swimming. <laughs>